bread, wanna fuck that other shit. I believe in the sky, a higher power. Big born bread, wanna fuck that other shit. I believe in the sky, a higher power. What's up, Breadwinner Nation? This is Breadwinner Jr. coming to you live with uh, Candy and Chip Mukbang Review. Now, today we're going to be talking about is Messiah still with Born Breadwinner Association? Hmm. Stay tuned and you will see. Make sure you watch the whole video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and show love. All is truly well. How you doing, Breadwinner Nation? This is Breadwinner Jr. coming to you live with uh, Candy and Chip. Much thing with you. So first we got the Lay's layer of sour cream and onion flavor. It's like uh I don't know why they call it layers, it's like I don't know, it's like a little bowl. Like a little bowl or something. Just read this fish crust fruit mix flavor. Got them. Then we got the sour patch kid strawberry. I never had these. I never had the sour patch kid strawberry. So it. All right, man. So I'm coming out today to because I've been getting a lot of people been asking me about Messiah, and I ain't gonna say a lot of people been asking me, but. Some people, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. If you don't know, you catch up. Brave on the Junior TV, go catch up. Well, you ain't gonna catch up with his because I deleted everything. But the big question is, is Messiah still signed with B, BWA? And it's still with us. The answer is no. All right, let me tell you something. Now I'm gonna explain why, which I owe y'all no, I owe y'all no explanation. But you know, you have fans, so. So I'm gonna just get straight up. I'm not trying to make this video long. So when I offer these group of artists to come up here and work and do some work for this, for my label, meaning put in work and I was gonna boost their careers too. Well, the only person that decided to bite was Messiah, which is AKA Arrow Mitchell, my dog. Well, was my dog. And uh, come to find out, the only reason. He came is because he had legal problems that he was running from, you know? And I just found that out two weeks ago. Like, he had legal problems that he, he had to face. And uh, it was basically a waste of time, you know? And we tried the South Patch Kids Strawberry first. It was a waste of time, man, because I was, I wonder why he could never focus on the, I'm gonna say, on the situation at hand, or like he just didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I tried, I tried, I tried, I talked, I talked, I talked to him. It still didn't work. And then it got to the point where it got disrespectful, where he was disrespecting me in my house. Meaning like, different things in my house I tell him not to do, he'll still do. I leave out the house. My my door unlocked, like different little things, you know, that I keep repeating myself about. You don't need to know everything, but it's different things. And there's another thing too. It got to a point where I had to put my hand on him. But I just didn't put my hand on him. I might hit him with one thumb and tell him, come on, let's get in that mix. Because you just disrespecting me, bro. I tell you, don't touch this. I walk out my room, you touch my shit like I, we go, you go to the store with my I ask you what you want. Why every time I, you know what I'm saying? Different things like that that little brothers do, you know what I'm saying? And I got tired of talking. And like I said, I just wouldn't hit him. Like, I would hit him and tell him come in that mix, and he would never come in that mix. And we not built like that around him. You go you go defend yourself, and you go dive. You're not going to be a coward. I know your history, what you've been through. You things pretty good, man. I know your history. I know what you've been through and everything. So I'm gonna try to make you defend yourself. You let people talk to you in a kind of way, do you in a kind of way. I was trying to teach him how to defend himself, how to get his bag. When he first came to my house, he was like, man, I want you to take control of everything in my life. I want you to show me the way that you did your life and how you got yourself together. 
And I was like, I can't show you how I did it. You got, you know what I'm saying? But I could guide you, and he's like, man, I just want to do it your way, and I want you, I want to get on my shit. So he wanted to control everything, which he would bring in that money, but it would help. But man, I stay in a fifteen hundred dollar condo, just mention the lights, gas, you know what I'm saying? But I could see that about him. He put his weight with that, you know. He, he, he was to a certain extent. So, and then one thing, I didn't kick them out. I didn't tell him to leave. Woke up one morning, he was gone. But like he said before, two weeks before, he got to he got to do some running or go on a run. And I was like, what? I'm like, all this shit I got, what do you do? Like, and another thing I buy, he wasn't taking this music serious. Like, if he have, if he would have like a three hour studio session, a four hour studio session, he would leave with a female, and he would make his studio session. So I missed out, like, I think one time I missed out on like a, a, a three or four hours. I say I was gonna pay $50 for like three to four hours. And he, uh, he, uh, he didn't show up, bro. The, the appointment, I went, to, I went to school, I go to college. I went to school at 11, then got off at, uh, I think one. And I was waiting for him. He was supposed to be home, waiting for him. He didn't, he didn't show up. So I was like, fuck it. And then, he, uh, they said it was on their way. So they were making for four. My producer was like, all right, cool. The nigga didn't show up till 12 in the afternoon. I mean, 12 midnight. And then the night before he left, I just booked a six hour session for him with a, with a video and he was gone. So I'm like, I'm wasting all this money, man. And all his, his true attention was since he left Louisiana, came up here that he was gonna, he was gonna run from the situation that he did. You know, I'm not gonna put his business out there. He was gonna run from the situation that he did. So, you know, and I'm tired of helping niggas. Like, I'm tired of helping people that just turn it back on. That just, you know, what I'm saying. And I got the best intentions. I work hard for this. I do this. I ain't gotta work no job. He'll tell you that I ain't work no job. And my bills kept up. I get a bag from, from this. You know, my shit just went dead, but I get a bag from this. Oh, that's just Mr. Reed's fish. So, uh, I try to teach him self-love. I try to teach him about these females, man. This man, I was out here raw, raw dog and telling girls that they love him. He love him. They want to have his baby. He was doing all that, man. And it's just, it was disturbing my peace. And it got to a point where I kept on consistently talking. He would just disrespect my honors of my house. He would... I would have to tell him everything, like get up to clean, get up for work, clean, help me clean, like all of this, you know. So, and plus he's the type of nigga when he get around females, he uh, he like act a whole different way, like trying to downplay it, like act hey, cool, I guess that they put on some kind of, I don't know. But yeah, Messiah is no longer with us, man. And I would not give him another chance because last time I gave him a chance, he went on Facebook. Oh, you selling people dreams that it was going to be BWA Ron mixtape. I got him the position for BWA Ron mixtape to be on BWA Ron mixtape. What he said on Facebook that I wouldn't do, I did it. And he fucked it up with not showing up to studio time, getting that record done for Bread Wanna Lifestyle mixtape 2. Bread Wanna Lifestyle 2, the mixtape. So he fucked me. Like, so I don't know what he'd be telling y'all. Or whatever, which I don't give a fuck, cause nobody ain't gonna do me nothing, you know. And I'm not even trying to bring that energy this way, but if they know him, they know. Only thing I do good is help niggas, and only thing they do is turn their back on me. Alright, from now on, I'm not doing nothing without a bag. Alright, these are. Uh, Alright, I don't like them. Mm, let's read the first. Thumbs down. The soft pair of kids. Thumbs up. That's what I do. So, right now, the focus the focus is with me. Look how this look, y'all. The focus with me is, uh... Thumbs down. I don't wanna like them. But, uh... The, uh, it's time to focus on me now. I'm about to start having these classes. These classes with 
I'm teaching y'all marketing and promotion, my own classes. So I got somebody working on that. I'm getting better with this Facebook shit, like getting paid off of ads and in-stream ads and stuff. I'm getting better YouTube-wise. So, man, subscribe, bro, and support. If you don't, you know what I'm saying, very one of the nation, go support regardless. So, I just want to say I appreciate y'all, man. I haven't, I'm still not going to judge people off their intentions, but now, from now on, with this music shit, it's about business. If you're not part of that 448, that BWA, that FMG, family ties, then you're not in it, you know? So... And y'all might do another vlog tonight when I cook homemade hamburgers. I might do another vlog with y'all tonight. I don't know yet. But yeah, that's the that's the answer with Messiah, man. No Messiah is not with us no more. The Messiah has got legal problems to handle. Messiah got to get his life together. And that's what it is. So I want to tell him this. He was stupid. I was there. Yeah, I was going to get his money right. Get him a lawyer. We was going to go down there. Turn himself in, bail him out, see what the situation is. Because I really wanted him as an artist, man. But I'm still dropping some music that I got for him. And me, like, I'm still dropping music, but it's going to be underneath my label, but he's not with the label no more. All right, now let's get to sponsorship. This video is sponsored by 448 Boys and the incredible guy, Trent. A flock of Trent Nowinski. Big Nigerian step, but this book is called Hustling with Zero Pride. Like I said, this video is sponsored by 448 Bars, Flock of Trent, Hustling with Zero Pride. This book is a good book, and you need to sign it for me. You know, say, appreciate your loyalty and commitment, brethren. Grow daily, weekly, find a way, never, uh, never. I don't know what it is. There were two ideas of the small minded to Ronald Bray Winner Jr. signed by Flock of Trent, hustling with zero pride. All right. So uh I'm gonna read the back for y'all, right? This this book, you're about to read the details that the steps by step ways to be a hustler, sort, sweet, simple. This should motivate you to start one of the one of these hustles are created a new hustle from scratch. Money makes the world go round and you need it. The question is, how bad do you want it? And at what expense will you go to get it? Self-made is a wonderful mental feeling. And I hope all you are reading this can experience it these days, tools and run. The, take these tools and run with it because the sequence won't be a simple, won't be a simple it will have it that ways of how to make money from the phone, internet, social media, and for text and more. I tell ya. Huh. But like, I'm just gonna open this. You see, hustlers, tutor, babysitting, trainers, massage therapists, and masseuse. And that's all I'm gonna give y'all. Say now, nah, hey now, nah. like I say, hey now, nah, say now. Nah. This video is sponsored by Flocka Trent. Hustling with Zero Pride. This is a book you could get off of uh, auto book. You could hit Flocka Trend, 448 Flocka on Instagram and get this book. Hit his, hit his, hit his, uh, his, his, uh, hit his, the link in his bio and you will be surprised by how many shit this boy has. Trent Nowinski, Flocka Trent. Trent Nowinski, aka Flocka Trent, Mr. I'm telling you, Mr. Drill, Drill, Drill. Drill, hey now, say now, stuff a bitch and cream, puff a bitch. All right. I appreciate you, Brad, when the nation and 448 nation, FMG nation and BPWA nation. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Make sure you hit that button, hit that subscribe, hit that bell, and make sure you come back and show nothing but love. Self-love is the best love. Make sure you love yourself or you can't love nobody else. Ah, I'm telling you.